friends. Therefore, he alone can do all the changing. If you don't believe this, you won't change. Because you're going to keep trying and trying and trying and failing and failing and failing. It is impossible to please God without his son. We are unable to live the Christian life through our own efforts. Please get this through your head. You cannot become more like Christ without Christ. I want to close with the story and give you some quick applications and then we'll, we'll call it a day. I know I came at you hard, but it's very important you know this. There's a woman named Joni Erickson Tata. And through a, through a diving accident in a pool, she became paralyzed. She was only like 18 when she got paralyzed. Well, long story short, she was still able to find someone who wanted to marry her. And her wedding day approached very quickly, and finally it arrived. But her wedding day wasn't as she imagined, because her dress wouldn't fit right, first of all, because she's paralyzed from the waist down. And when she was in her wheelchair, the dress would fall beneath the wheels, and her dress would continually get smeared by the tracks. That day, everything seemed so wrong for Joni. A day when everything was meant to go perfectly right, they were going horrendously wrong. As a final attempt to cheer up Joni and give her a better spirit, her bridesmaids cleaned her dress, put flowers on her, but she still felt horrible as they wheeled her closer to the chapel. It was about the ceremony was about to go, out, go on. And in her self-pity and angst, she couldn't even muster up the spirit and the enthusiasm to be excited for her own wedding. She was demoralized right in front of her wedding day. Even with the beautiful dress, the colorful flowers, and the stylish hairdo, she felt so unworthy. She felt so unworthy on her wedding day. And in her disgust, she looked up, and the chapel door happened to be a little bit open. There was a crack there. And she peered into the chapel, and it happened to be that in that little slot, she could see her husband to be her fiancé. And her husband saw her and gave her the biggest smile. And the story ends that when he smiled at her, all her unworthiness disappeared. All her unworthiness disappeared. My friends, do you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is smiling upon your life, whether or not you are living right? Do you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ has a bigger smile for you because you are living, quote-unquote, right? Both are insidious lies, for he smiles upon you. May all your unworthiness disappear so that you may live according to his pleasure and his amazing grace. I have three applications before I go. One, since you have been saved by faith, live by faith. Amen? You've been saved by faith, live by faith. Even though you feel like garbage, don't believe in your feelings. Have faith. God loves you. You are saved by grace. Live by grace. Second, do not, do not, do not defile the work of Jesus Christ upon the cross by your own willpower. We can only become like Jesus through Jesus' power, not our own. 
I did not get here because Byung-Ham is strong. I got here because Jesus Christ is powerful and mighty and redeemed my life. Lastly, let God, the rescuer of your life, cleanse you and make you glorious, no matter how filthy you may believe your life to be. Let God, the rescuer of your life, cleanse you and make you glorious, no matter how filthy you may believe your life to be. Do you remember when Jesus tried to wash Peter's feet? And Peter said, no, Lord, you should do no such thing. And what did Jesus say to Peter? Peter, unless I wash you, you have nothing to do with me. Unless you let me wash you, you have nothing to do with me. And then Peter said, of course, Lord, then wash. The Lord wants to serve you and wash your life. Do not defile, do not interrupt the work of the Spirit in your life. Let's pray. My friends, my family, usually I ask you to do more, but today I ask you to do nothing. If anything, I ask that you let go and relieve yourself of an insurmountable duty called trying to be a Christian. You cannot try to be a Christian. You either are or you're not. You're either loved by God or God does not know you. Please trust the word of God over your feelings and history. Do not let your history govern your future. Jesus Christ wants to make you like him. That is his ultimate pleasure and your greatest good. So I encourage you today, give Jesus your life, all of it, and let him cleanse you from the inside out. Stop trying to become a better person. Let Jesus make you a new person. That is my heart and my desire over your life. Thank you for your time. Continue to pray.